Minabuti ko pong humarap sa inyo upang ipabatid kung gaano kaseryoso ang peligrong kakaharapin ng ating mga kababayan sa darating ng mga araw. The unprecedented magnitude of the disaster prompted the country's biggest recovery and reconstruction effort since the end of World War II. The private sector, civil society, non-government organizations, bilateral and multilateral institutions went all out in mobilizing to support the government in this effort. Amid the relief operation, the National Economic and Development Authority, or NEDA, with the full support of international development partners, led the initiative to put together the strategic plan Reconstruction Assistance on Yolanda, or RAY, in a record six weeks. The RAY recognized early on that it was critical to start recovery and reconstruction as soon as possible under the principle Build Back Better. We know that we cannot allow ourselves to be trapped in a vicious cycle of destruction and reconstruction. We know that it is more efficient to prioritize resilience now rather than to keep rebuilding. This is why we are going to build back better. The president soon appointed a presidential assistant for rehabilitation and recovery who led the preparation of the comprehensive recovery and rehabilitation plan after a series of consultations with local government units and development partners. In April 2015, NEDA took over the coordination and monitoring functions of the Office of the Presidential Assistant for Rehabilitation and Recovery. As of October 2015, it is estimated that 150 billion pesos is required to fund Yolanda rehabilitation programs, projects, and activities through 2016. To date, a total of 93.8 billion pesos has been released to fund the Yolanda rehabilitation efforts. Two years after Typhoon Yolanda, there are now signs of progress in Tacloban City and many other affected areas. Most social services such as education and health have been restored. Majority of the roads, bridges, ports, and telecommunication facilities have already been rebuilt, now adhering to better structural standards. Large-scale projects such as airports, municipal buildings, and flood control structures are also being planned and being designed to incorporate resiliency. Livelihood programs have also hit a stride. government is working hard to provide disaster-resilient houses for Yolanda survivors who have to be resettled from danger zones. Government and its partners have helped many Yolanda survivors to get back on their feet. The Tikog mat weaving industry in Basse in Samar has been revived and is even stronger now than it was before as a result of strong cooperation between the Department of Trade and Industry, non-governmental organization CARE, and United Nations Development Program. Fishermen of Basse in Samar are also now benefiting from the submersible fish cages from the Japan International Cooperation Agency that can survive big waves. This is complemented by stocks of fingerlings from the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. Survivors in Bantayan Island in Cebu have gained new skills through trainings by technical education and skills development done in collaboration with the local government unit, other government agencies, and the International Labor Organization. Following the principle of Build Back Better, 
Resettlement sites are designed not just to be safe and disaster resilient, but also providing access to social services, utilities, and sources of livelihood. Yolanda survivors resettled in National Housing Authority's Prime Town Housing in Tanawan Leyte now feels safer in their new houses and have started vegetable gardens, something they did not do as coastal dwellers. With the help of the municipal and provincial governments, which consider this a showcase livelihood project. No una, ayaw namin, kasi hindi kami marunong. Dagat lang kami. <laughs> Injun din kami. Hindi na kami bumibili ng gulay. Meron na kaming gulay. Bibili na lang namin bigas, ulam, may gulay na kami. At the Capuso Resettlement Site in Tacloban City, the survivors' lives are back to normal. Some of them are already looking forward to Christmas this year. Uh, masaya naman kami sa tinitirahan namin kasi matibay. Tapos yung, yung pinagabalahan namin dito, yung uh, contest namin para sa Pasko, nagawa kami ng pabunggahan ng ano, <laughs> decoration ng Christmas tree. Tapos sa bahay-bahay, uh, Naglagay kami ng Christmas light, tapos Christmas candle. The Villa Diana Resettlement Site in Tacloban City is on the last stages of completion. It is getting ready to receive the Yolanda survivors who currently live in the Operation Compassion transitional site nearby. Despite the progress that has been made, much remains to be done, especially in reinforcing existing institutions, building resilient and livable shelters, and reducing bureaucratic practices to give way to faster and efficient implementation. These serious challenges are being addressed so as to improve the lives of Yolanda survivors and build resilient communities. Similarly massive post-disaster rehabilitation operations elsewhere show that these operations take time and can prove daunting, even for the best and the most advanced governments. One major uh, thing to learn is that the Katrina recovery took over 10 years. Now, uh, it, and I think you could, would maybe be fair to say that there's not even yet a full recovery from Katrina. I mean, New Orleans now is a different place than it was, but it certainly is not something that can be put together quickly. As you will remember, in 2005 or thereabouts, there was a major hurricane. Two years after that disaster, if you go to Grenada, you will still see signs of the, the effect of the hurricane. But here in Tacloban, when I came in as a first time visitor, if one is not told that a typhoon took place here two years ago, you wouldn't know because there is no sign on the road. Throughout from the airport all the way to this place, I didn't see any sign of destruction. So it shows the resilience and the commitment of the people of the Philippines. When all is said and done, Typhoon Yolanda has led the Philippines to take drastic measures in improving disaster resilience. It proved to be a big turning point for us. In this sense, it is a new day after what many Filipinos will always remember as the end of the world.